Hello and welcome to Video Editing 101. This is Chapter 1, Lesson 1. We're talking about editing and story. Welcome to this class. Welcome to um, a wonderful adventure that we're going to be taking together. I'm glad you picked this course um, and I'm sure you're going to love it. Um, and I'm going to try not to be too silly or too serious. I just want to, you know, get this stuff this information out to you so that you can go out and make wonderful movies as I mentioned in the introduction um, each class is gonna follow a similar uh, theme and structure and so after I introduce the topic for the subject uh, for the lesson I'm gonna go into a fun fact or movie quote um, and this is a great quote from Walter Murch, he says, Film editing is now something almost everyone can do at a simple level and enjoy it, but to take it to a higher level requires the same dedication and persistence that any art form does. And I think it's so true. Anyone can go out, buy a computer, or who already have a computer and download, you know, iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, but to really make quality movies, to make art, to make great documentaries or even just great business videos for your you know for your school or for your business it really takes a lot of time and effort to learn the program and to learn how you use it um, in the right ways because editing it's not just pressing buttons it's not just adding effects it's knowing how to press the buttons in ways that create magic and how to use effects in subtle ways because editing um, really one of my professors uh, taught me that when editing is done right no one notices it when editing is done wrong people notice it so when sound is bad um, when there's weird titles titles that don't look right when there's too many effects um, those are the times when you know movie when people say oh wow that was cheesy or Oh, that wasn't a good movie, but when they don't even notice the seamless cuts and dissolves and the beautiful titles um, and they don't think twice about it, uh, they just think, wow, that was a great movie, and that means you're doing a good job. So, enough rambling. Let's talk a little bit about story. What is story? Um, story has been around forever. Cave people drew uh, pictures on the walls. Um, to tell stories and they were, stories were used to teach lessons and to carry on traditions year after year, generation after generation. Uh, once uh, you know print was uh, was invented, people were able to write down um, uh, their stories or to print it out on paper. Um, and throughout history, there has been a theme uh, among all stories and now especially movies 99.9% .9 of all movies follow the arc the story arc um, on the screen I have this plot diagram um, basically every story follows this uh, it starts with you know an exposition it starts with you know description the setting who the characters are you get to know what's going on and then at some point, there's an inciting incident. A conflict arises. Um, something, you know, you, you have to, the main character has to attain something. There is a dilemma. The, a girl is trying to catch a, get a boy. Um, a boy is trying to get a girl. Um, and then from there, the plot thickens. There's rising action. Things happen that uh, make it a little bit more exciting and draw you into it. And then right at the peak, about halfway to two-thirds or even a three-quarters in, there's a climax. You know, the guy kisses the girl. And usually it, there is one particular point when this happens, um, or it could last a scene. Um, uh, but there's a climax, uh, and this is seen in books in movies, in any type of storytelling. And then at the end there's the falling action and this is when everything wraps up. Uh, the characters get to a resolution. Um, you see what happens after the climax, after the conflict was either uh, 
a, you know, fixed, or or the character um, let go or whatever, and that's when you have a resolution. And so that's what story is all about. Um, and editing in story, it's so important. Um, people don't realize how important editing uh, is, but any director, uh, any filmmaker will tell you that, especially in documentaries, editing is where the story comes out. You know, you can write a script, you can storyboard your entire film, um, and sometimes, you know, editors just have to take the clips in order, put them down into a timeline, and that's your movie. But most of the time, editors are the ones who, working with directors, um, are creating the story out of uh, the film, out of the video that you know you shoot or the vi director shoots. And so, editing is so important, um, and you know just the different ways that editing is is storytelling. You know, whether you use a fade to black or a fade to white. Um, the song choices, which, you know, an editor usually um, helps with, you know, the pace of the music or the pace of the editing even, you know, are there long clips or are there fast cuts between different clips? You know, all this stuff is ways in which editors have a say in the story and it's something that, you know, doesn't get seen. Um, it's not very uh, um, prevalent, you know, you think of the director telling the story, you think of the actors, you don't think of the editors, you know, most people don't even know uh, any famous editor's name. But even in, you know, small business videos, editing is key to making a quality product, uh, one that uh, stands above the rest, and it's so important in the world going forward where everything has video, every company needs to have a YouTube channel or video on their website um, that is quality, engaging, and uh, it's up to you as editors to make it that way. So we have an activity. I want you to watch a movie and pay close attention to the story structure. Are there any editing techniques that affected the story? Anything that I just talked about? And pay attention to the arc. See, see the arc in the story. So if you need any help with a video editing problem, um, if you have anything with, that has to do with this lesson or anything that you're working on, email me. If you want advice for a project that you're going to work on or that you are currently working on, email me. Or if you have suggestions about this course now or in the future, if you ever think of anything, email me. My email is ebener.udemy at gmail.com. I'll get back to you quickly. You know, If you just want to chat about some video project or just about life, email me and I'd be glad to get in touch with you. Thank you for watching this chapter one, lesson one um, course video. Uh, and I look forward to the rest of the course uh, to do this with you guys. So thank you for joining um, and taking part in this course. And I, I, yeah, I just can't say enough. I'm excited about this entire time that we're going to spend together. So thank you again and have a great day.